Introducing to the room. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Stone Market Slam 10. My name is Nick Calloway, and what a way to start off tonight. What a way to start off tonight. We have the King of Couture, Brad O'Brien, versus the King of Performance, Kelly Six. Now, Kelly Six appeared at the War Trials. Brad O'Brien recently, the Community Chaos. O'Brien, desperate for a win. His opponent tonight, Kelly Six, also desperate for a win, but Brad O'Brien, he's got spawned a new look tonight. Still got that trademark mirror though, but hopefully he can take Kelly, Kelly Six a bit more seriously than, well, the time he spends looking in the mirror. That's not to say that he can't back up inside the ring, but there we go, we'll see what happens. It's nothing but confident been training you can tell he's looking in great shape all eyes on himself let's just hope they can keep eyes on Kelly Six as well nothing quite like overconfidence to affect a man's performance <laughs> And now the man that appeared at War Trials, the king of performance, the man that went up and took Corey McRae, our World War Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, our Champion of War, to the absolute limit of Community Chaos. well up for this very active on social media the fans love him Brad O'Brien though not really paying any attention not impressed at all by the king of performance more and more about that well we'll see what happens in this match I'm being joined by Jake Pugh ladies and gentlemen for this match how's it going Jake thank you Nick how are you sir oh, I'm not too bad I'm looking forward to this match the king of performance versus the king of couture Brad O'Brien versus Kelly Six the man who competed in war trials and took our champion to the absolute limit versus the man who's got really stylish looking hair today. That has the potential to be a show stealing performance this one. Absolutely, both men are desperate for some sort of victory within the war zone. You're looking at the king of performance and taking on the king of couture. Our opening match up for Stone Market Slam 10 and Nick it's been absolutely amazing the, some of the, as I was saying to you earlier as I was saying to the crowd earlier on excuse me some of the greatest memories and moments that we've had in this particular building for Stone Market Slam it's been great to look back on over the past coming days I have to say absolutely and you think about that 10 events in Stone Market alone that have riddled with history <laughs> riddled with history <laughs> Jake they're ringing the bell we're ready to go so, as Jake says, we've got all of these memories within Stone Market Slam, all the way from the first one to the present day. And everyone that comes into World War Wrestling is changed. Absolutely, and uh, we've got some, you know, some big opportunities here tonight. Uh, as well as that, we've got the return of the first ever World War Wrestling Heavyweight Champion later on tonight, the Dark Wolf, Matt Walters. But he's got his work cut out for him because he's taken on two men that are up and coming on the British thing, not just in the war zone yet. Absolutely, and obviously Xander is no slouch to the war zone, no stranger to the war zone. The fans love him within World War Wrestling. Indeed. And you definitely hear him coming as well, but talking about hearing somebody coming, Brad O'Brien needs to concentrate on the man in the ring. He started off by saying that Kelly Six pulled his hair. That's, that's not really Kelly Six's MO. No, he I doesn't think need so. to be pulling his hair. So, task at hand. You've got the king of performance who's looking in absolutely great shape. You've got Brad O'Brien who's looking in absolutely great shape. Managed to catch up with Kelly Six earlier on, actually, and he's been telling me he's been preparing very hard, especially after taking that loss from Corey McRae. Did it, what's this about? Come on, ref, get the mirror off him. Right, it's easy to see that the uh, the Messiah of Mirrors is in love with himself. Let's not uh, let's not take that away. Sorry about that, Jake. His interruption. Is, he needs to concentrate on Kelly Six. Kelly Six is no slouch. Absolutely not. I mean, he. He went to war 
pardon in the pond with our champion Corey McRae at Community Chaos. Oh, pun away, I was refereeing that night and I, I didn't know which way it was going to go. Countless times I thought that Kelly Six could just wander straight back in and take the gold. His performance was worthy of that. I'm not sure they deserve that. Now this is going to be an interesting combination of styles, let's not forget, because Kelly Six, he loves high-flying manoeuvres, he likes dropping people on their heads. Brad O'Brien likes to slow the pace down, he likes to ground the pound, and he's going to be looking to do that to Kelly Six. Oh, but look at this, landed on his feet. Great Watch catch cat. That. nice. But uh, don't take your eye off uh, your opponent. Brad no. O'Brien's been doing this long enough to know that. Yeah, I do worry about that. I say it countless times whenever we actually have these shows. Arrogance leads to complacency. You cannot afford to be complacent in a match with somebody as quick as Kelly Six. Yes, he could do the ground and pound. Yes, he could drop you on your head. But he's also as quick as a hiccup. You take your eyes off him for one moment and he will land something devastating on you. So Brad O'Brien now has actually slowed the pace right down like you said he's known for. And that does favour Brad O'Brien. It's where he's comfortable. Now arm drag from the king of performance. And he was in full control of Brad O'Brien with that arm drag. Now that's the smartest thing I'll have to say about Brad O'Brien. Don't forget, it wasn't just Kelly Six that took a loss at Community Chaos. It was Brad O'Brien as well. Brad O'Brien looking a little bit humiliated when he took a defeat at the hands of the golf daddy. He didn't exactly look very happy about it, that's true. No. But he did actually bail out of the ring there thinking that he could take a moment. But he took his eyes off of Kelly Six. Indeed. I said before, that's a mistake he's going to make. He's taken his eyes off of Kelly Six. Kelly Six now behind him. Brad O'Brien's not going to get any air out of there. Kelly Six is going to stay on this man. Both of these guys have something to prove. I mean, if they can, whoever gets the win on this. Lovely, uh, that was like a leg lariat, really, but Kelly Six hanging onto the ropes. Well, that's a good job he did, really, because you don't want to fall out here in the war zone. That is a very hard floor. Yeah, there's no padding around the ring. Kelly Six is trapped. <laughs> Knee to the side of the head. Going for the cover. He's not hooking the leg though, Nick. No, there was plenty of body and body, but there just wasn't enough leverage on that pin. I think it was more to prove the point to Kelly Six. I've got you exactly where I want you, and now he can break him down. He can slow him down. He can work his game. Last time Kelly Six was actually in this building, I do believe it was the war trials. It was the war trials. Yes, it was. My God, that's the whole thing. You lose yourself in these 10 stone market slams. Absolutely. I mean, talking about Matt Walters earlier on, remember his classic encounters with Bram? Absolutely. Oh, they were, they were just something to behold. And then obviously you've got Sky Smithson and her matches in this, this venue. When she yeah, tough competition. Sadie plays and Aisha, but she again was in the war times. Beautiful German. And it looks like that could all be it for the king of performance. And maybe it would, will it be enough? I can't help but think that maybe he would have gotten three that time if he'd have actually covered the man. Yeah. He did the move and then he left him to his end of it. See, this is unnecessary. This doesn't, he doesn't need to do this. That's the sign of the arrogance. Like now, look, it's, it's, you're, not, you're not fooling anyone, Brad. Brad O'Brien desperate for the victory, but Kelly Six feels like that he has something to prove. He knows that he can get to the top of the game in the war zone. He knows that on Corey McRae's first title defence, he took him to the limit. He was just inches away from grasping that belt from him, particularly after Corey McRae put on one of the most historical moments, again at Stone Market Sam, when he ended the undefeated reign of the war beast Will Cruz. And Will Cruz not here tonight though, I must add that Nick. No, and Corey McRae did devastate the Walton person. Nice scissor kick there, nice axe kick. But the thing with that victory over Will Cruz, it was something to behold and yet Kelly Six still came back into the war trial, still went after Corey McRae as the new champion and said, I want what you got. Some people may have come back in softly, softly. Start with somebody that, not a lesser opponent, but maybe not the big dog, but Absolutely. Kelly Six. Not to be deterred, despite the tete-a-tete on social media, the personal barbs that Corey McRae went for. Even at the start of that match of Community Chaos, he tried to make it personal. Exactly that. What's he going for? Back suplex, and he nails it in the centre. Oh, I actually thought Kelly Six was going to try and get back to his feet, and a lot of net control in this matchup already. And that knee straight to the face. But all of these moves are high and tight. There's not been a waste in motion at all. There's not been any slack covers apart from, well, that one, which 
Now Kelly Six trying to get the Stone Market crowd behind. We've got a jam-packed crowd here, not just on the ground floor, but up on the balcony too. And very loud. The crowd in here is just so loud, so engaging. There's not a crowd like the World War Wrestling one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, look, a great counter from the king of performance. He's starting to build momentum. And the crowd is the 12th man for Kelly Six. They do love him to pieces. He is the king of performance. He does excite them. A leg lariat of his own. And he's starting to pick up the pace. This is what Kelly Six needs right now. He's picking up the pace. Brad O'Brien is better at the slower game. Kelly Six, when he's speeding along, when he hits that fifth gear, there's, there's no stopping. He's going to run through you. He's going to run through you hard. He's going to turn you inside out and you won't even see it coming. I feel like Brad O'Brien has tried to play Kelly Six in his own game. I mean, it's like when you're trying to outbox a boxer. It's just not possible, Nick. No, it's not. And I do feel that Brad O'Brien... At the moment, Brad O'Brien's definitely rattled by the King of Performance because everything he's trying is just that split second too slow. And that was almost inches away from being over. Kelly Six going up again. Brad O'Brien dizzy. Will he hook him? He's got him hooked. Nice. Drilled him into body the on body. Right. Hook the leg. Hooks the leg. Don't get too frustrated, Kelly. Stay focused on the man. You need this victory more than you realise. I think the thing with being desperate for the win, like both of these men are, they need to keep control of their emotions. There's being desperate for a victory, and then there's letting that consume you, so you start making start making mistakes. Mistakes like that, Nick. What hard point at the elbow, though. No, oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. Brad O'Brien going for the cover again. Pulls the arm away from the ropes. Shoulder up just at the last second. Brad O'Brien paying very special attention then when he went in for the pin he saw just how close Kelly was to the ropes and he moved the arm away so there couldn't be that rope break which in turn created more leverage for that pin and the other thing we've not addressed although it's not to his detriment look at the strength of this man he is slightly smaller yeah don't let that fool you though I mean I mean that's a that's a pretty aeroplane spin is another aeroplane spin and quickly capitalized with an inziguri there is a lot of strength there. Oh, and he stomps to the back of the shoulders. Stay on him, Kelly. The crowd are definitely up for this. He came up. No, Brad O'Brien goes behind. And one more switch. Nice reversals. Look at the pace on these two now. I saw that referee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, Brad O'Brien just went downstairs. But the ref didn't see it. Gets him up with a scuba. It's all over. Oh. You talk about desperate for a win. There's a winner of the match, Brad O'Brien. You talk about desperate for the win, but going for the low road is ridiculous. I mean, a win's a win, and the referee Matt Ball didn't see it. Kelly's now telling him that that's the case, but Brad O'Brien gets one in the win column. O'Brien with one in the win column but how can you be proud of a decision how can you be proud of a victory like that he's worth more the king of performance gave it his all but sometimes a desperate man will do what it takes to win and sometimes he gets away with it how that man looks himself in the mirror having done that but you've just seen <laughs>